Well, we'll get to 28 healthy bodies, which means, um, and we we had kept our, our returning players out of lineup, so they'll all go back in. Most of them will play two of three. Some will play all three. Um, and and in in some ways, not complete, but the additions are over almost. We have to now turn our focus to the players, getting them ready, getting getting the uh, returning guys ready, and then they'll each. Uh, player that is auditioning shot probably is going to get one that they've got to make the most out of to consider getting to. With um, Matthew Semestevich still here past this latest round of cuts, uh, him still being here, what does that say about what he's done so far in camp? Well, he's had a good camp, and, and he's um, he's got NHL-ready skill for sure. The uh, learning curve in terms of how to apply it. There's there's something interesting about some very skilled players. The game actually gets easier for them as the cuts get made. Um, the game is far more controlled at the NHL level. There's usually only one guy chasing you, and it's uh, and everybody knows which guy it's going to be. Everybody's got a job on the ice, so there are players that can process the game more easily. The extreme would be a rookie camp game, which is quite helter skelter. They're hard to read. So he's had a good camp. I'm going to put him in a number of different positions in terms of playing them with veteran players to get a, uh, still a better read. Uh, we'll get into Tampa. They're at 28 healthy. We're at 28 healthy. So we'll see pretty thick lineups here in the next three. Both teams just trying to get ready. So these will be good tests for them. Based off what you've previously said, just in terms of the kind of job he would have to fill if he makes the opening night roster, yeah. like just trying him out in those spots, and you know that yeah. might mean him taking someone else's spot. That's pro sports, right? That's that's a possibility. The there's a spectrum there, though, in fairness, if he, he could still be here potentially and not be in the opening night roster and we're thinking we're going to get him in in the first year, there's a lot of different things that we can do. Prior to that, we'll get through these next three games and get a feel for where he's at. But, yeah, I mean, he's not going to sit in the stands for the first 10 games wait for me to get him in the game. He's playing hockey. Yeah. Um, in terms of guys that weren't on the ice today, we didn't see Barkey. And, uh... So we have, we've have we got the three long-term guys and then we have five short-term guys. Um, that weren't on the ice today. Barkoff, will, we think, will skate tomorrow. It, it's he's just been sick, is all it's been, and he. Um, we're hoping that he's full with our team on Friday, and then that would open the door for playing Saturday. And for like Richie and Ludwig, just minor things for those or anything. Yeah, so we, they're short term, but not the, they'll, they'll lie our skates. So we'll put them on on the ice fairly soon together, but they won't join the group until they're cleared. Is Gadjevich the third uh, long term yeah, guy? Correct. Correct. That's it, Falls. That's all you needed, right? That's short.